Thank you guys for your interest in the new Arena Dub slash XL Utility Combo Knife. Um, whether you've bought it already or whether you're thinking about it or on the fence, I just wanted to show you really quickly a tutorial on how to swap the blade. When you first get the knife, it's going to be set up just like so. And when you swap the blade, you're going to have the Warncliffe D2 blade installed, and it's going to look like that. So let's get started. I'm going to get right into it. When you start doing this procedure, I highly recommend just pulling the blade out just for your safety. You can put the latch on. It's a spring-loaded latch, and you're going to need a T8 Torx bit. Make sure that your Torx bit is, is not, you know, in bad condition. This one looks really good. And you're going to be disassembling your main pivot screws. So these two right here are your T8 Torx. So let's just have at it. It's got a little bit of thread locker, but it's light thread locker. It's the non-permanent kind. So you, in my experience, in the last 15 or 20 of these that I've taken apart, have not needed any heat, which is convenient. So you can see there's a little bit of residue thread lacquer on the threads there. Let me set that aside. I, I strongly recommend that you work on a mat or uh, you know a table somewhere where you're not going to lose screws and parts into carpet somewhere. Um, like for example, I have a you know heat grate on the floor slightly two feet to the left. That's not the smartest idea. So just just be aware of your surroundings. If I was to lose a screw, it would be a heck of a time and a lot of swearing to try to get it back. Uh, you can use a towel so as I'm taking these apart you can start to see you got the bearings there's also a washer if I flip this over you'll see there's a little steel washer on the inside and if you take your magnetic screwdriver or just you know your regular screwdriver tip and pull up on it you can get that out um, first working on the, the side without the latch the top handle that's the easier one. It's so quick. So that now that that's out, obviously we underneath this bearing is another washer. We don't even have to touch it. We're just going to pop that in place there, and we're going to take the flat side of the bearing. Bearing has two sides. Has like a concave. It doesn't really matter which way you prefer, but I I just personally prefer the flat side down towards the blade. And then after that, you do your washer. That completes the casing of the bearing and then you're just going to reassemble your screw so you're going to put your screw back in put your T8 Torx you're going to snug it up and this is assuming that you're just reusing the thread locker that's on the threads that it comes with from the factory it would be a smart idea at this point if you're positive you're not going to want to change the blades then you'd want to go with the Vibratite Red Permanent or whatever other brand you already own the vibratite blue is the semi-permanent so that's equivalent to what's basically on the threads from the factory so the top handle is done we're going to now remove the bottom handle which i want to mention there's a pin obviously over here holding the get that the focus holding the spring latch in place so you're not going to be able to twist the handles as easily as you were on the top handle so it still is enough to to kind of get in there and I, I strongly recommend not disassembling the entire handle because you just t6 torx they like to betray you at times and these these have a little thread locker on them so before you disassemble if you are planning on removing the latch you're going to need to heat this with either soldering iron or um a, a, a flame and you're going to have to make sure that you have a really good quality t6 T6 is a problematic size. It's just, it's just even people on the Spider Co forums complain about it all the time. It's just, it doesn't matter what quality level your uh, your screws are. Once they're thread locked, man, they get tight. So if you're interested in specifically getting this because you want to remove the latch, just reach out to us first. We'll make sure that we ship you a copy that that doesn't have you know a, a seized thread on it. We'll we'll work with you guys because. You can send us an email after your order, or you can just put it in the comment section. I want, you know, to eventually set my my battle song up latchless, and we'll make sure that we send you one that doesn't have a screw that's, you know, uh, seized in there by Thor. So, back to the the actual tutorial. You can see how much space you have here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up. 
I'm going to just kind of spread this out. And there you go. There is disassembled. You still have the the D channel. I forgot to mention these these screws are awesome because they've got a D shape to them. If you can see, see that flat edge on the screw? That stops one side of the of the pivot from ever spinning. You can see that your washer is still installed in there underneath. You've got your bearing. So now we just need to install the other end, the other side of the blade. And if there's not enough room, either either allow the screw to fall by gravity, or if it doesn't fall by gravity, you're just gonna push it with your screwdriver. And I have a fly on my finger because you know. Only in the video world would something a random gnat from my wife's basil plant decided to come and love me. And here we go. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. He gone. <laughs> you guys, this is this is real. I told you this is plain and uncut. All right, let's get the bottom half assembled. So I'm going to put my D-channel screw right through the back. I'm going to take our blade, get it on top of there. I'm going to push the screw through just enough to kind of stick through. Let's hang hole, and then I'm going to sneak in Really help me if I put the handle this way. Then I'm just going to sneak in the bearing and the washer. So if you don't have enough room, you could always take your screwdriver, just push back on it, get it to fall through a little bit more. Give yourself a little bit more clearance. Hopefully you can see this on the video. Yeah, you should be able to. I'm just pushing through. It's not working. There we go. Just shimmy it a little bit. And then once you get it like that, Hold it with your thumb. I'm going to pop on my bearing. And then I'm going to pop on. Get that seated. And my finger's bleeding for some reason. I must have nicked myself. Hooray, I feel nice for a living. Alright, and we're in. So the washer on top of the bearing. You're going to take your screw. I think I'm bleeding because I have chapped hands, honestly. It's getting cold here up in the north, the northeast, the frozen tundra of Connecticut, New England. And you don't have to kill the torque level, just to mention, like, just snug it. You'll know when you're done. It, it'll come to a stop. If you over torque, your, your handles aren't going to fall as smooth. This feels great. And obviously, um, you know, for flipping, easier to just show you this way, you know. It's, it's um, on this camera, I mean, because obviously I don't want to smack my camera here. This is all set up, ready to go. Like I said, um, now that you know how to do it, once you're, you've got your screws out, putting a dab of Vibratite or your favorite thread locker is all you need to do. I mean, you, you could reuse the thread locker that's on there, but I strongly recommend if you're into any type of bell songs or trainers, get a tube of this. It'll last you a long, long time. As long as it doesn't dry up. You'll be able to do like 100 knives with it. And after that, um, for other further maintenance tips and advice, you know, get your favorite lube. We've got KPL. We've got, you know, the, the lightweight, the original, the heavy, the EKS uh, Solingen German high-tech oil, which is actually food grade. So I like this stuff. It's comparable to the KPL. It just doesn't smell as good. Um, it doesn't smell like anything, actually. But once you've got your knife put together. I just put a little dab on top of the pivot joint. It was a little excessive, but I'm getting excited here. And then you just work it in. And now you're even smoother than before. It's like butter. And you're good to go. So the other the other things that um, I can mention is uh, don't bend your spring latch more than 50% unless you want to stretch out your spring and make your spring weaker. That's the same on any model. I don't care what brand you're dealing with. These springs have a tension. Um, they have the tendency to, you know, lose their tension if you over, over bend them. If I was going to bend this and just mess around with it. So that's just an honorable mention thing for maintenance. Uh, pocket clip removal 
If you want to take off the pocket clip, if you're not into pocket clips, let me grab my T6. It's one screw. This is how easy it is. It's just take out the screw. Boom, you're done. You can replace the screw if you don't want to lose it. Just put it back in. And you're all set. If you happen to uh, misplace any of your Zen pins or you need to pop them back in, it helps to have a little pair of needle nose pliers. Um, the, uh, the pattern is very simple. It's for the top handle of the Tang, uh, the Zen pin right there is going to hit the top of the, the, there's two holes inside each handle. So I'm not explaining that easily. But you can't you can't miss. It's it's gonna be the, the pinhole closest to the screwdriver, the flathead screwdriver on the tank pin for each handle. As you can see, this side here, it's on the upper position, and on this side it's on the lower position. So other than that, you can't go wrong. So we thank you guys so much for watching this. And if you have any further questions, please leave a message in the description of this video, or you can, you know. Hit, hit us up at support at arenaaccessories.com. We're available. You can text us at the phone number as well on the website under the contact section. Um, thank you so much, and we hope you enjoy it.